Greetings Cyberdogs! This is Rendog coming at you from the top of the life tree in this Let's Play Minecraft 1.4 survival series. In the previous episode we were building the foundation of the Nether Portal Temple which you can see in the background there. And in this episode we are going to be heading over to the strip mine way over there behind the, uh, the Great Bridge to get some obsidian so that we can build the Nether Portal on top of the altar over there and get those bad boys fired up and get our asses to the Nether! Oh man, it is free. Oh, dudes, this is so sweet. I am so excited. Um, thank you to everybody who commented in the previous video. The, the number one comment was that the nether portal actually wasn't wide enough. And as you can see, I've widened it by one block. So now it's actually the way it's supposed to be. But that meant that I had to redesign the, uh, the foundations of the temple itself, which I did. I had to move everything one that way and one this way to accommodate the new block. And I had to redesign um, the, the piston door. Um, I built this door inspired by a build done by Ethos. If you didn't watch the previous episode, I'm angry with your ass. Go watch it, you freaking bastards. Um, but anyway, I have made the door one wider now. And uh, when we get to there, you will see the modifications that I've done, man. Let's just have a quick look at what we can see from up here. There is the lakeside villa over there. That is so sweet. It's a pity that we can't see the outpost, man. That would be awesome. But um, the mole city is going to go in this space over here. So all of this vegetation is going to get taken down and there's going to be a city. It's going to pop up over here, man. It's going to be freaking sweet. And there's the farmland. Um, and there is the, the wizard's tower. There's the graveyard, which we thankfully haven't had to visit yet, man. That is sweet. Um, <laughs> but anyway, guys, and here's a giant ball of lava in case some of you haven't seen that before. But um, back down the life tree into the mole hole, guys. We have a lot to do in this episode. So let's stop freaking messing around. Um, I need to get back to the forge room now so that I can um, recycle. Well, basically, I want to smelt some more cobblestone, right? In the previous episode, we smelted down a whole bunch of cobblestone. So let's reap the rewards, man. Let's pick up the stone. Um, let's pick up the XP. Let's reinvigorate the furnaces. Oh, man, this is awesome. Check how many levels I'm getting for this, man. This is sweet. Give me some of those green balls straight into my ass. Come on. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, man. It's like the best enema ever. Um. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, there we go, guys. Now, I'm g the, the reason that I'm making so much stone is because I need a butt ton of stone bricks. And I want stone bricks because stone bricks are, my, are actually my favorite block in Minecraft. And uh, I'm going to be making the mole city out of stone bricks and the nether portal temple is going to be made out of stone bricks and i mean i don't know what else we're going to use stone bricks for but it's going to be for a lot <laughs> i freaking love stone bricks so um man we are just setting the forge on fire damn it is getting hot up in here Ooh, let's get out of here man i'm i'm cooking all right let's drop off this extra cobblestone and some of this wow check how many stone check how much stone we have man this is crazy um, but all of this stone is going to become stone bricks. So divide this by four is how much we actually have. Um, it just shows you like how much we're going to actually need, man. It's crazy. So, guys, the nether. Man, can you freaking believe it? We are on our way. Um, it has been a long time coming. It's been a hundred episodes of season one. And, uh, <laughs> man, you know, serious business. Uh, what, this is episode, what, 14? of season two so 114 episodes of let's play minecraft and we haven't got to the nether yet damn um that's crazy but i'm so freaking excited to be going to the nether right now um what i am gonna do though is head over the, to the strip mine um in this episode to get the obsidian um we can't do anything without the obsidian oh by the way look what i've done i've opened up like a passageway here um, that takes you to the nether portal temple. We're gonna do something sweet with this. We'll have pictures or I, I don't know man I'm not thinking about it right now um, But what I do know is that I need a new diamond pickaxe because my diamond pickaxe ain't looking pretty um, I also need a helmet <laughs> I mean look at me. I'm a butthole without a helmet <laughs> I need a new helmet man um, My dogs are just shaking their heads. They're just like oh dude, you're such a loser why you always have to talk about buttholes, man? That's what they're saying to me. <laughs> oh, guys. I love you, doggies. Right. So, we need to make a new pickaxe because 
basically Terra is almost busted up and it's going to cost us a butt ton of levels to repair um, Terra. So for now, unfortunately, I'm just... Oh man, OCD kicking in! I'm going to drop off Terra and his her friend over here. And we're going to use this pickaxe for this episode. Fang is going to get dropped off too, so I'm going to I'm going to take a janky ass sword with me to the strip mine. We don't want to lose any of our really sweet stuff, do we? Just before we go to the Nether, we like lose all of our awesome stuff. That would just be man, that would be sad face. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to leave Rambo here too. Get in there, Rambo. We don't need you, man. We don't need your ass. <clears throat> what we do need is a bucket of water, though. So let's get a bit of urn. Three urn. And uh, back to the crafting table, and let's make ourselves a bucket. Wait, what? <laughs> Man, I was only supposed to take three urn. Get in there, Aaron. Annoying, annoying freaking bars of chocolate. Bars of silver chocolate. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's enough rage. Rage against the urn. Um, so guys, let's go to the freaking strip mine, man. Let's get our, our asses to the Grand Morhole Station and take the express line. I got my ticket and I'm ready. Kaplam! Oh man, you get free watermelon in this train. This is like the best train ever. Um, man, I'm going to write to British Rail and say, Guys, if you, wanna, if you want people to buy more tickets to go on your trains, give them free melons. Because damn, I, I would take that ride every day. But guys, <laughs> you know what we forgot? We forgot our freaking helmets. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a butthole. Even after calling myself a butthole, I forgot my helmet. Oh well. Um, we're going to live on the edge, man. We're going to expose our brain to possible death in the strip mine. Um, it's only going to make us smarter, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Alright. Nice glitchy sound. Alright, so which strip is it? Uh, is it this one? I don't think it's that one. This one. It's basically down the first strip that we made. I think it's this one. Yes, this is the one. Um, there's loads of obsidian down here, as I recall. Of course, there's also loads of chances for death. <laughs> Which is something we don't want to happen. Oh! Man, you scared the living daylights out of me, zombie. Just because you've got your brain sticking out doesn't mean you can just jump up on people, man. Seriously. A skeleton! Didn't even get a shot off. What a noob. <laughs> Alright, so here's the giant lava oh, pool. Die, you bastard! Die, you bastard! Die, you bastard! Oh man, I need Fang! Oh, you butthole. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Take a step back. Let's let's take a step back. Let's let's relax. Okay. Everything's fine. Um, we almost died again by falling into lava, but now now we've um, we've recovered. We are back to normal. Batty, come to join me. I'm convinced it's the same bat, guys, by the way. Come, zombie. You want some? You want some of this? Take it. Um, right, let's just torch up this place, seriously. While, we mining, while mining obsidian, it is not a good idea to get uh, ninjaed by a creeper. Because you know what will happen, man. You're going straight into the lava. Jeez, man, that was like a rocket jump. <laughs> that was sweet. Um, right, this, is, this isn't going well, is it? Uh, oh my god. We need to recover some health, man. Alright, let's get back into the strip. <sighs> Alright, so I think what we're going to have to do is try and make a wall. Oh my god. You really want some. He really wanted some. Um, I think what we should do is try and make a wall. If we can. Um, hmm. Or what we just let's just light this place up, man. Seriously. <sighs> okay. Whew. I tell you what, guys. Hard mode is never just about. You know, like sometimes you just feel like going on like a Minecraft mission, and, and you want it to be nice and peaceful and uh, nothing to happen. Well, let me tell you, guys. Hard mode. Not going to happen. <laughs> if you venture out in hard mode, something bad is going to happen. Um, guaranteed. And I didn't bring any freaking water. Um, that's annoying. 
There's got to be water around here though, right? Right, let's start collecting over here. Let's see if there's lava underneath this obsidian. There is not! Excellent! Right. Ooh, here's... I mean, look how much lava there is, but, um... We haven't got any water. There's more lava over there. Man, there is so much lava to be collected up around here. Damn! This is like an obsidian factory. Uh, problem is we don't have any water. Okay, so this obsidian looks good to go, right? Um, let's just get some torches up in here. Just to stop some spawning. This, I mean, this should be enough obsidian for at least one temple. I mean, one um, freaking portal, right? Okay, there we go. Looking good. Looking good. We can start our freaking mining operation. Alright. Alright, guys. I'll tell you what, man. This is going to take forever because it takes about two minutes to break one block of obsidian. So, I'm going to bring you back on the other side of this freaking creeper kaplooey uh, when we have harvested a whole bunch of obsidian. So, um, one, two, three, kaplooey! Alright, guys. We are back. And as you can see, I have found some lava. So, what I'm going to do is try and be smart about this and actually kill the lava above the obsidian that I'm mining. And uh, that way, um, you know, the obsidian doesn't die the moment that I that I mine it. So um, this method seems to be working pretty good. I've got, what, eight obsidian so far, which is a good start. I think I probably need, oh god, a lot. Um, <laughs> seriously, man, I'm going to need a butt ton. Um, but I think, um, I think for the first portal, we only need, what, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve... Uh, so we need 12 for one. So we need 48 obsidian to make the four portals that we want to make. 48 obsidian. Man. <laughs> that is about, that's about uh, 30 minutes of mining using this jank ass diamond pickaxe, man. Uh, freaking pain in the butthole pickaxe. Oh, God. Um, oh, did I just lose a bit of obsidian there? Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to continue with this method um, of trying to kill the lava underneath the, the obsidian. And once we get a little bit further, I'll bring you back again. So, one, two, three, kaplooey. Kaplooey. All right, guys, I'm making good, steady progress. As you can see, I've dug through quite a lot of this obsidian. But I want to go and see if I can find myself some freaking water. Um, because that obsidian is almost done now. And, uh, what, what, wait. Did, did you see that? Diamonds! Oh man, this must have been a diamond patch that I forgot about. Oh my goodness gracious, this is so sweet. So man, coming to the strip mine seems to have paid off. Oh, this is awesome, man. We get some XP, we get some diamonds. That helps to replace the diamonds that we had to use for our helmet and stuff. So that is awesome. Oh man, I wonder how many other diamonds I've left around here. Because <laughs> I, I, I do the strip mines, right? And then I leave the diamonds because I want to get the diamonds with you guys. But then I, for, I forget about the, the patches of diamonds that I leave. Um, <laughs> so that's awesome. And check, here's some water also, which is really sweet. Let's see if we can actually find a source. Yay, we found a source! Sweet! Okay. Oh, man, this is awesome, guys. Things are looking up. We started this mining mission uh, almost dying. But it looks like things are, are getting better, man. We found some diamonds. We found some water. And uh, we've got, what, 21 obsidian. I just need another uh, 27. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to get back to farming some obsidian. And uh, when I'm closer to 47 obsidian, I'll bring you back. So uh, we'll see you in a moment. Oh, man. We found freaking diamonds. Sweet. Okay. So we have just been able to pick up 31 obsidian we're almost there guys but um I, i'm gonna harvest this little lava you know what is this like a, a lava plain or a lava field over here guys but i wanted to show you something really sweet while we're doing this have a look at this awesome freaking function of this mini map mod it gives you the view of uh, let me just press m and if you choose the render type to cave 
you can see that it's green and uh, have a look at that man you can actually see my strip mines underground and you can see the the, the caverns and also also it doesn't actually show you where any resources are or anything like that but i do love the way the strip mines look on this map look how sweet that is man um showing you exactly you know how what this what a strip mine looks like from a from like a bird's eye perspective so i think that's really 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 cool um and I just love it. It just makes me act, it makes me want to make more strip mines just so that I can see it on that map. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, man, um, but it's true. <laughs> All right, guys, I literally just have to get myself another uh, what ten or about, uh, another fifteen or so obsidian. So once I am I'm full up on, on obsidian, I'll bring you back and we'll head back to the mole hole. All right, my cyber dogs, that is 48 obsidian grinded out of the ass of Minecraft. And guys, it is getting scary down here, man. I need to get my ass out of here. Listen to how much... Man, there is so much jazz around me. Um, it's ridiculous, man. I need to get my ass out of here, seriously. Uh, back to the molehole, guys. We've got the obsidian that we need. Oh my goodness, we are so close. We're so close to the nether. Oh my god. Um, I'm hoping that I can use this new diamond pickaxe to re um, repair Terra for less experience. I think the reason it, it needed so much experience was because I was trying to repair Terra with an enchanted pickaxe. So obviously that's going to, you know, take up a lot more um, XP points. But um, let's get on the train. Let's get some melian... Melly? Let's get some melons in the jazz, <laughs> is what I was trying to say. And uh, let's go and set up our nether portals, people. Oh my god, this is so sweet. Let's just get our map back to uh, normal mode. There we go. Looking good. Oh man, this is so sweet. Can we see ourselves traveling? Oh, look at that, man. We can see ourselves traveling on the Great Railway. That is so awesome. I love this map mod. It is so awesome, guys. Seriously. Um, look at that. It gives us such an awesome view of, um, of all of our biomes. And right there, you can see where Mole City is going to be. Um, it's going to be right there. Oh, it's going to be so awesome, guys. I can't actually wait to build that city. I've only ever built sort of single structures. So I've never actually attempted to build like multiple structures that all work with each other um, kind of thing. So that is going to be so awesome. Um, all right. So we've got 48 obsidian. Excellent. Um, anything in the butthole? Nope. Things are pretty quiet around here, man. Um... The first thing, first things first, guys, while I was mining obsidian, I was thinking about Terra and, and the possibility of fixing her. So let's quickly get into the forge room and see if we can fix Terra using this new diamond, um, this new diamond pickaxe. So Terra in there, this diamond pickaxe in here, 30 levels, 30 levels to, to fix her to full though. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty sweet actually. And the diamonds, it's going to, it's about the same. I mean, basically, it costs me like another, it costs me like two two more sticks to repair Terra to full. And uh, that's a cost I'm willing to live with, people. So maybe what we'll do is just farm the butthole until we get to level 30 just before we go to the nether. But let's go and set up the temples, guys. And let me show you what I've done around here. Um, so what you can see, guys, I've actually widened the door slightly so it's not exactly like Ethos's um, design, but I've added another piston on... Uh, on the horizontal or oh, sorry on the vertical right so now the piston now the door has actually been extended by one block um on the the on the horizontal um so i think that actually looks pretty sweet it still has the same effect you can see how i've wired it here um the redstone goes under both of these pressure plates um and then goes around the two pistons and then if we come to the other side of it you can see it um coming into the into the redstone squares over there so that's looking sweet man check out the moon rising behind the nether portal temple man this is so awesome i think i'm gonna just get some torches down here um if we want to work at night we got to make sure this place is secure man gotta secure your workplace and uh ooh, try not to fall down the, the, the cracks and crevices i haven't even read my own freaking health and safety signs man seriously um, so you can see that I have expanded the altar by one block on the horizontal and this is now the nether portal looking jazzy damn it is looking sweet man um, there is the freaking moon and uh, let's go back to looking at the redstone quickly so you can see I've added torches underneath these two redstones and I've added the slabbage 
redstone ladder climbing thingies to both sides so this side powers this piston and this side powers this piston and that is the door guys looking freaking sweet if you ask me man um but guys let's you know let's get the important things done man let us get building on the nether portal the, the nether portals themselves and then in the next episode we're going to be heading into the nether oh my god i don't know if i can take it all right so <laughs> before i freak out man let's let's get this done so um there we don't want to place the blocks wrong though because then we have to break them again it takes forever to break these things um right so i think we need to be it's got to look something like this right there we go so that is in essence that is the nether portal or does it need to be one higher i'm not sure it might need to be one high i think it's actually one higher um, I mean, the only way to the only way to check this is to test it. So let's go and see if we've got a little if we've got some flint and uh, flint and what you call it in here, flint and steel. All right, guys, let's see if we can fire up our nether portals. Oh my goodness, this is this is a, a freaking momentous day right up in here. But I do think I don't think this is right. But let's try. No, not right. Get up. Um, <laughs> Okay, so I think that this actually has to be one higher. Which means we need more obsidian to complete the entire design. But that's okay. So you guys can see how long it took me to, to harvest this obsidian in the in the freaking strip mine, man. Damn. <laughs> it takes about 25 seconds to break one uh, obsidian block. Which is just... It's just absurd, really. Okay, there we go. So... We need to go one higher so let's just get up on a little pedestal here and okay this is it we're firing up our first nether portal our first nether temple portal our first freaking portal kaplam oh my god oh my god that is so freaking scary oh my goodness i mean i'm oh my god the sound is terrifying the sound is terrifying people um, oh, but this is so awesome. This is like the most... This is amazing. I'm so happy with this. Um, guys, I mean, I'm so excited. I'm not even going to go to the Doglith today, guys. Sorry, I'm, I am I'm, I have to finish this now. Um, seriously, and we're not going to have time. We're not going to have time to do a Doglith. Right, let's light the second one. Kaplam! Oh, my God, it looks so awesome. It looks so awesome. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out from the awesomeness. Oops. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Just when we were on a roll, man, I placed the freaking obsidian block wrong. Look how awesome that purpleness is. Seriously. They're like sucking into each other or something. I mean, some weird stuff is going on over there. Um, what I think I want to... I don't know. I'm going to experiment with the, with what these, portal temp, these, these portals look like. Um, the third one is on fire. Oh, my God. So sweet. So freaking sweet! I actually, I think I harvested way too much obsidian. Ah! We're about to fire up the last one! And it's actually, it's actually worked out beautifully, guys. It's, it's exactly how I envisioned it, which is really sweet. So, um, with the new design, I can actually put four, four beacons here, man. So I'll be able to go to the nether, uh, the, the nether completely pimped out to the maximum, which I think is really awesome. Um, right. Let's just fix the corners. Just make sure that the corners are completely um, obsidian, uh, obsidiified. And we have enough obsidian to complete the, the floor of it too. I think, I do think we want to do the floor of it, right? How do you put it out? Can you put it out? Can I break? What the hell? Okay, I'm not going in there, man. Um, I kind of want to make the floor of the portal. Um, oh my god. <laughs> I'm literally like <laughs> a millimeter away from going to hell. Um, I think I could jump. Can I jump through here, though? Um, oh my god, guys. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. Um... 
Oh my god. Okay, so I can actually run through it without being teleported. Uh, thank the Lord for that, man. All right, guys. There, our portals are ready. Look at that sucking in each other's freaking ethereal juices, man. That is some crazy business going on over there, guys. I'm so excited to get to the nether. Um, I need to end this episode now so we can start the next one right away so we can go to the nether, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. And guys, uh, you know, we're, we're on our way to the nether, man. It is going to be freaking sweet. Give me a high five. And guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft 1.4. We'll see you in the next episode. And we'll be going to the freaking nether. OMG! Goodbye, everyone!